the Peer Administration on November 1st decisively took the first step toward ensuring the exhaustive St. Jude Hospital reconstruction saga, which began some 13 years ago, reaches a state of completion with the welcomed resumption of works on the original construction site. I want to thank them, the staff of the St. Jude Hospital and the board of directors for guiding this process. But most of all, the unfortunate people who got sick and had to endure the conditions at the stadium. My heart bleeds for them because the conditions at, this, at that stadium were not easy. And because most of the time, because of selfishness, we kept these people in that condition for six years. And I had a walk in these buildings this morning. And I'm saying to that I went myself to see for myself. I'm not an engineer. I don't profess to be an engineer. But there is nothing that says that these buildings could not have been completed four years ago. There is absolutely nothing that says it's a callous act for people to have left people in the conditions of the stadium just because you want to prove a point. But we're not proving any point. The only point we're proving is we are trying to improve the health care for the people of the South and giving them better conditions. We should. That's the only point we have to in the last eight months since his initial announcement on the continuation of works on the original construction site, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre successfully coordinated the required human and capital resources across various government departments to reactivate the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project, which was left to decay by the previous administration. As promised by Honorable Pierre, Work on the original construction site, which is now teeming with construction crews, has finally resumed. We have, we have started today with the phase one uh, of the St. Jude Hospital um, rehabilitation project. Phase one includes the cleaning of the entire site, including all the buildings. It also includes the fumigation and the anti-termite treatment that needs to be carried out because of the time that has elapsed since the buildings were not used. So today we have started with the east wing, we have started with the surgical building as well as power, laundry and maintenance building. We are cleaning up the floors, that's the first step that we are doing. And we have about seven subcontractors currently working here. There are 42 people um, in their crews the, that, are, that have started to work here today. And this will, this will continue for the next four months. The importance of employing a reliable and trustworthy oversight committee is not lost on the peer administration, who has assembled a cohort of experts across the public and private sectors to ensure project deliverables are met on time and within budget. We expect to utilize the best practice of interministerial management, and that, that includes close collaboration and active participation of the Ministry of Infrastructure who will lead on technical um, supervision as well as the Ministry of Health who you heard earlier would be responsible for activating our oversight mechanism and that is a broad-based steering committee which is made up of both public sector and private sector individuals. I think it, it speaks of a model of, as the Prime Minister always articulates, a model of transparency, accountability, and best practice. St. Jude Hospital construction deviated in 2019. By 2021, less than two years later, more than 89 million taxpayer dollars was expended. However, St. Lucia's South was still no closer to having its own hospital. Honorable Pierre is committed to ending wastage of public resources. So in total, we possibly may have spent between 250 million and 300 million dollars when we are completed 
paying the debts on these two buildings as they are. That is what the taxpayers of this country will have to go through. And it, whereas I'm happy, it hurts me. Because $300 million later, the people of St. Lucia still have not got a hospital. But I can assure them, and the cabinet can assure them, that in the shortest possible time, the people of the south of this country will be, not maybe, will be receiving health care in these St. Jude buildings. Upon assuming office last July, Honorable Pair requested a status report from the Ministry of Economic Development on the Phase 2 iteration of the St. Jude Hospital, which was commissioned by the previous administration. Phase 2, or the new structure, was erected near the original construction site between 2019 and 2021, nearly three years after construction on Phase 1, the original construction site, was abandoned. Honorable Pierre has confirmed the Economic Development Ministry's report does not recommend proceeding with Phase 2. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.